Hello YouTube world, my name is Angelina. Welcome to my channel. It's the first time I've ever gotten to say that. This is my very first YouTube video, so bear with me. I'm gonna try and get through this as fluidly as possible. So just a little uh, background about myself before we begin our little tutorial today. I am an esthetician and a certified medical electrologist specializing in laser treatments for your skin. I work at a holistic health institute, so everything that I'm going to be showing you in these videos are really going to um, kind of hold that theme, holistic, natural, non-toxic, that's what I'm all about. So um, I'm going to do some skincare tips and tricks, some DIY things with essential oils. I'll show you a little bit around where I work and hopefully I can create some amazing content for you. So today what I'm going to show you is how to create your own roller bottle with essential oils and also how to make your own mermaid hairspray which will help stimulate the hair growth and give you a really nice natural smell in your hair. As you may know, your hair is a natural diffuser, so good stuff. All right, so to get started, what are you going to need? First things first, for the roller bottle, you're going to need a roller bottle. Makes sense, right? Uh, the ones that I am using are from Pretty Care. I got them on Amazon. I will link everything I'm using down below. These are 10 milliliter bottles. There are many different sizes. So depending on what size you get, that will kind of vary with how much essential oils and um, carrier oil you're going to need when you're creating. Um, I like the 10 milliliter bottles because they're, you know, just simple. They're not too big and they last quite some time. Aside from your roller bottle, you're going to need a carrier oil. There's a lot of different types of carrier oils. My personal uh, favorite <laughs> is a fractionated coconut oil, also from Amazon. This one is called Viva. It's organic, good stuff. And then, of course, you're going to need your essential oil. So you can choose whatever type of blend you're trying to make. My um, roller that I'm going to make is um, gonna be more of like a calming, grounding, really like floral scent. So all of the oils that I'm using today are from Young Living. I absolutely love that company. Um, their oils are 100% pure therapeutic grade. So make sure any oil that you're using is that because it's going on your skin. Everything that goes on your skin is getting directly absorbed into your blood. So keep that in mind. The blend that I am going to use, I'm going to use four different oils. So the first one is lavender. Always a great one, staple in essential oils. Super um, calming, delicious. I've been to the region in France where they grow lavender. Such a really cool experience. I'm also going to use Valor, which is special to um, Young Living. It's kind of a, like a more, perfumey scent to it almost. It helps to give you courage. The next one is Stress Away. Kind of smells like Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii, but um, I can imagine it would smell something like this in a way. It's got more of that like tropical, um, fun smell to it. I don't know how to really, it's hard to describe scents sometimes. Um, and then the last one I'm going to use is Frankincense. Frankincense is the staple as well. It's, um, kind of dates back way, way in the past. It was given to baby Jesus. Um, there's so many great uses for frankincense, medicinally, topically, um, whatever you want to do with it. It's a really great scent as well. Okay, so those are my four oils. I'm also going to use a little bit of lavender in my roller bottle. Lots of people like to put things inside of their roller bottles. You can do crystals, you can do dried flowers. You can really be very creative with roller bottles and throw in whatever you want. I love to make them for friends. Um, I like to just have a few for myself, for calming, for stress, for pain, for allergies. Essential oils are awesome for so many things and I can get more into that in another video. So what you're going to need for your mermaid hairspray. This hairspray uses three specific oils. Um, you don't really wanna shy away from these ones as much because they're more specific for your hair. So the first one that's the most important, this is the only oil I don't have that's not from Young Living because I don't 
have it yet, but I will. <laughs> so rosemary. Rosemary is great to stimulate circulation. Rosemary also can relieve um, dandruff. It helps with any dryness or flakiness. It is an antibacterial and it also helps with the shine of your hair as well. Lavender, again, of course, helps to stimulate the hair growth. It can help with lice. It's extremely calming. Um, it's also antimicrobial uh, as well. And then same with cedarwood. Promotes hair growth. Antimicrobial, antifungal, um, anti really good stuff. All of these oils are amazing together, scent-wise as well. So, um, you know, rosemary is gonna be that, you know, more of like that spice. Cedarwood is a very like woodsy, warm aroma. And I'm sure you know what lavender smells like. Okay, so other than their oils, you're going to need a bottle. Um, whatever size you want to use, try and make it a glass bottle. Glass bottles are react a little bit better with oils. They don't get any yucky buildup on it. Um, this bottle is eight ounces, so I'm going to be reflecting my ingredients with the size of the bottle. Um, the next thing you need is witch hazel. This one is, again, from Amazon. Why witch hazel? Because it marries the oil with the water. As you may know, when you try and mix oils with water, it doesn't happen. The oils will just kind of sit and float on the top. So that is why you need the um, witch hazel. And then the last thing you're going to need is distilled water to top the rest off. Distilled water is always the best to use when you're using essential oils, um, whether you're using it on your skin or you're diffusing with it. Me personally, I like shove my face over my diffuser all the time to get in that aromatherapy. And you don't want any of the yucky stuff that comes in normal waters going into your body. And it also helps to keep the product clean so you're not getting any buildup, whether it's inside of your bottle or inside of your diffuser. So distilled water all the way. Okay, so now we can start making a roller bottle. So what you're gonna do first, take your roller bottle, they're pretty easy to top the, the roller off. You just kind of stick your nail right under the top. Pop it right off, easy. Okay, so the 10 milliliter bottle, again, it'll vary with how many drops of oil you're going to use. Um, I've done a few of these, so I kind of already know, but um, you know, of course, at your discretion. So I'm going to start with eight drops of oils each and then we'll go from there. You can kind of test it by the way it smells if you want it stronger or if you're good with the way it is. So here we go. Lavender, we're gonna do eight drops. These bottles will drop on their own. Some are a little faster than others. Next, we're going to do the Valor, one of my favorite blends from Young Living. This one's like purple, so it adds a really pretty color to your bottle as well. A little bit slower to come out. One day we'll be done. Awesome, cool. The next one we're going to do is our Stress Away. Always a good blend. Another eight. Try and get it in your bottle, not on the outside of it. Okay, and then our last one, the boy Frank over here. Do another eight. Okay, so these are all my little oils in here. Now, before I add my carrier oil, I'm going to add my lavender. So I've had these little lavenders for a few weeks. They're starting to get dried out. I got them at Publix. I was super excited to see them because I love lavender. Um, so I'm just gonna break off a few of these little guys and throw it in the bottle. Make sure they're separated so you don't get like that chunk from the leaf. So I'm just gonna do that right here. Make sure they're separated and then start just throwing them into the bottle. Now you can always add more. After you put the coconut oil in, it will disperse so you can see if you want to do more just for the aesthetic, but it also adds that beautiful fresh lavender smell to your bottle. Okay, great. 
So this blend, it smells amazing so far, um, but I'm going to now dilute it with my coconut oil. So the kit that I have with all of these roller bottles, it comes with these cute little tiny funnels, which makes it so much easier to add your carrier oil. So, got my little teensy funnel here, and then I'm just going to fill my bottle with the oil. Okay, I'm not going to do it all the way up to the top just yet, so I can see how I like the scent so far. So there's room for more oils, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the top back on real quick. Okay, shake it up. You can see the lavender in there. Right. Okay, and then what you wanna do, you just apply to your hand or your wrist. Roll it on. Mmm, it's beautiful. I really like it actually the way it is. It's um, it's subtle, but you can still smell it, so it's not overpowering. Um, if you want, you can add a little bit more of a colored oil like the Valor if you wanted a little more blue or purple. Um, but for now, I really like this combination and I'm gonna keep it. So you can fill the rest back up with um, the um, coconut oil so it's full. But you get the idea, right? Cool, so that's your roller bottle, super easy. Um, you can apply it to your um, jawline over here. You can apply it to your wrists. You can put it on the back of your neck. You can just whip it out and smell it whenever you want a little bit of a <sighs> type of thing. That's what I do, I keep it in my purse. Um, great gifts too. I've made a few of these already and my friends absolutely love them and they're super easy to make. Um, I used to always, always want to make them and never knew how and now I'm happy that I can. Okay, so for our hairspray, same kind of deal. Um, take your bottle. This is a four ounce bottle. Um, did I say, did I say this was this is 10 milliliters, not 10 ounces. I hope I said that. Big difference, right? Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, so first I'm gonna start out with my rosemary. I'm gonna do 10 drops of each because the bottle is a little bit bigger and then we'll see how we like it. That's kind of the basic recipe for this. Um, so we'll see how that works out for us. Because this isn't from Young Living, um, it is still 100% pure, but the dropper isn't quite as droppy, I suppose. It kind of just like does that. So here we go. Dude, yeah, see it kind of just like comes right out. That was definitely at least 10 drops. And the rosemary is kind of, I think, the most important ingredient. So if there's a little bit more rosemary than anything else, I'm cool with that. Next, we'll add our lavender. Now I can count to 10 because these actually drop, which is nice. Whoops, that ended up being 11. Okay, and then we'll add our cedar wood. Hmm, smells like, um, reminds me of being in like a log cabin in the middle of nowhere. All right, sometime today. Okay, there we go, that's 10, cool. All right, then you're going to add just a little bit of witch hazel, you don't need a ton. Um, I like to eyeball things. I don't think it really matters if there's um, a lot in there, just as long as it's in there. So I just squirted it a little bit. So that's all my oils and my witch hazel. Then all I need to do is fill the rest up with distilled water. So again, I'm not gonna do it totally full so I can see if I like the scent. I am amazed at my pouring skills right now. All right, up to there is where I'm gonna stop for now. Okay, I'm gonna wanna shake it up, shake, shake, shake it up. And this particular bottle is more of a mist, which is nice, oh yeah, oh wow. That smells great, actually. It's not too overpowering. It's a great concoction. I'm happy with the amount of oils in here, but of course, do your thing. If you want more, add more. If it's too strong, you can dilute it a little bit more with your water. 
Awesome. So um, yeah, that was it for today. That was our little do it yourself. I'm going to try and show you some more fun things to do with essential oils. Um, the essential oils that I have, like I said, are from Young Living. They're my favorite um, and go-to company for all things essential oils. They have really great cleaners um, like Thieves. All natural cleaners because cleaners are full of toxic ingredients. So everything I clean with is Thieves, which is a really nice combination of essential oils. Really good information on that. Also was used way back in the day. Um, let's see, they also have like makeup and um, yeah, like, um, what is it? Some, um, something called Ningxia. It's a, um, it's an antioxidant drink actually. There's tons of stuff. Um, but the best way to get started in Young Living, if you're interested, is by getting a premium starter kit, which is how I got started. It comes with a ton of oil. There's like 12 or 13, half of them are gone, and there's more stuff underneath, and it comes with an absolutely beautiful diffuser. And um, it lasts over 10 hours by itself, and then there's also a mode where it'll just disperse one minute on, one minute off, and that'll last like the entire day. So I'm only talking about it because I love it and I wanna share it. But thank you so much for tuning into my very first video. Um, if you have anything that you'd like me to show you, please drop it in the comments. But from now on, I'll be doing lots of more skincare and hopefully um, more fun stuff with essential oils. So thank you so much. And I look forward to interacting with you all.